Hey guys, if you're looking to get into live streaming and you don't want to put out a lot of money, the easiest and least expensive thing to do is to grab your webcam and go download Open Broadcaster software. It's an open source project for live streaming. It's really cool. Let's go take a look. So if we go to obsproject.com and then click on download, you can choose according to your operating system. Now, OBS is free. I've been using OBS for quite a while, and I was actually using it at our church until recently when we got our TriCaster installed. Um, and it's it's really easy to set up. Some of it it's not as intuitive as other broadcasting software. Let me take a minute. I'm going to walk you through a basic setup of OBS and show you how we do it. Okay, let's take a look at it. Now I've already opened it up, and here we are. This is the basic layout. This is first time you open it up. This is what it's going to look like. It's really sparse. Looks confusing. Let's don't worry about that. First thing I want you to do is I want you to click on studio mode right down here. What that's going to do is give you a preview window right here and give you a program window. Okay. General rule of thumb. Anytime you're doing production, preview is going to be on the left hand side. Program is going to be on the right, which means you can build your scenes over here, get your camera set, do whatever, tell the people, hey, zoom in, etc. Over here, this is what the world is going to be seeing. And it doesn't happen until you use the cut or fade okay now let's get a couple of things set up first things first I'm gonna want to hook up my webcam so I've got a webcam here this is a Logitech C930 it's your basic Logitech webcam it's actually a really good webcam I've actually used it for some church services so I recommend that if you don't have any cameras or anything you may want to try with something like this cost a hundred bucks really easy to get started with so I'm just going to plug it into my USB port Okay, let's go see if we can add it. Everything is done in OBS using scenes. So every single camera angle, every single camera zoom, every single anything has to be built in a scene. So we have a basic scene here. Let's just let's just rename this scene. And I'm going to call it webcam. One. Assuming I'm going to hook up a second one later. Now, in here, in this scene for webcam one, which is what we're seeing up here, which is black because there's nothing there, we can add sources. The sources are the various types of media or cameras or what have you that you're going to put in there. Now, I'm going to go down and I'm going to choose video capture device. And I'm going to call it C930. Hit OK. And then that's going to bring me up a window that's the properties you see for the one I called C930. And i got to choose the device. So I'm going to choose. I can choose my FaceTime camera, which is right here uh, on, the, uh, on the screen. This one right here that you're looking at. Um, that's the one that's right there on the top of my monitor. Uh, I can choose that if I want to. In this case, I'm not going to. I'm going to choose the Logitech webcam. There it is. And you are looking at the back half of my studio. And I want to tell you what you're going to want to do, just a quick tip right off the bat, is to choose the resolution 1920 by 1080 if you have a camera that does that. And choose a frame rate, 24 or 30. I'm going to choose 30. And there we are. Now, input format, choose auto select. And color space, choose auto select. Very basic. That's all you need to do. Hit OK. And now I have my camera in here, don't I? Now, let's just go to settings. And let's choose a streaming service. Okay? So I'm going to choose not Twitch. I'm going to choose Facebook Live. And the server is going to be default because it automatically knows how to get to Facebook Live. And this is where you're going to put your stream key. Now, as far as the mechanics of doing a Facebook Live thing, I've actually got some proper training. This is this is just a, a quick down and dirty getting into it. Um, I've actually got over on the members area, I've got a full setup about how to get started with Facebook Live with OBS. So you're going to want to click on that. I'll put a link below in here so that uh, you can get over there. If we take a look at output, we've got simple mode and we've got advanced mode. Let's just keep it on simple mode. Video bit rate. That is going to be the bit rate that you're going to be sending up. Okay, now some services have their own bit rates that they will max out at. They will not let you send anything more than two and a half megabits or 10 megabits or 20 megabits or one megabit, just depending on the one. I generally 
leave this undone. The encoder is going to be H.264 or X.264, which is what I have installed on here. Audio bitrate, that is, you know, 128 is CD quality. Uh, 160 is better. All right. Um, encoder preset, higher equals less CPU. This is the quality with which it's going to um, going to encode. Okay. The higher means less CPU, which means it's going to encode really quickly. The quality is going to be lower. You're going to play with this as you start noticing whether your CPU usage goes up when you start streaming or stays, you know, medium. If, it, if it's like, I don't know, say 50% CPU usage, then you can try adjusting this setting, okay? Um, if it is like pegging out at close to 100%, then you're going to want to adjust this setting so that it uses less CPU. Anyway, that's something for you to play with. Only you know because your machine may or may not be able to handle as much of a load as mine is. Now, um, we're just going to leave that here. Um, recording path. All right, one of the things I do is I record to an SD card. Um, basic rule of thumb for me is don't record on the hard drive that you are running the program from or that you're playing files from if you're, like, you know, streaming videos and, and things like that on top of the camera. So I know that... A SanDisk card, a 32 gig SanDisk card that does 95 megabytes uh, a second of write speed. If it's good enough for my DSLR or one of my cameras, I know that it should be good enough to record on here on my laptop. So I usually put that in my card slot. Use OBS and I'll hit OK. Okay, and then you'll notice down here we have same as stream for the recording quality. You can change that. It is going to depend on what your uh, CPU can handle, okay? High quality, medium file size, that's going to be pretty good. Indistinguishable quality, that means it's going to be a much larger file size, but it's going to look really, really good. Lossless quality, holy cow, that is ridiculously huge, okay? You can start off by choosing same as stream, which means whatever the video bitrate is for your stream, that is what the video bitrate is going to be for the recording, okay? And we can move out of there. Audio, we can leave that stuff alone right now. Video, now, rule of thumb, set the base canvas resolution to 1280 by 720. Why? Because, like, Facebook won't let you take in a 1080 type of resolution, okay? For the internet, for the web, for watching on a computer, watching on a phone, watching on a tablet, generally 1280 by 720 is going to be just fine. It's going to allow you to send up really good quality audio and video, but not all the excess video resolution that is not really going to be taken advantage of on these smaller devices. So, and if you're doing Facebook, like I said, 1280 by 720, 720p, that is the max that you can send. So, um, your frame rate is going to be 30, and your downscaling filter, I would leave this for now, just leave it at bicubic. Land Lans, Lansos, whatever it's called, is um, much, much higher quality, but Bicubic is just fine. So let's just leave that alone. All right. Now, let's go ahead and close out of the settings. We're going to save it. And we're back to our screen, our preview screen here. Now, real quick, you want to see how to get this out to the program? Hit the fade button. Whoop, there it is. It's there. Let's get a second webcam. We'll do the, uh, the one that's built into my uh, top here. FaceTime camera. I'm going to choose a source at the plus sign and I'm going to do video capture device and I want to call it FaceTime cam and hit OK and I'm going to choose the device FaceTime and there we go. Now this one, notice that the resolution is set to the highest resolution that it can do which is 720p. Frame rate 2997. And there we are. <clears throat> so we now have our two different scenes. So now the next thing you can do is if you don't like the way this scene is set up, you can actually change it in a little bit. You can click and drag inside here. You can resize it. Okay. Now remember that this palette that we're working on, the palette that's going to be going out to the internet, is 1280 by 720. However, the camera, remember when we were setting up the thing, we told it to use a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Okay, so we can actually, let's, let's right click and go to transform. 
and we're going to do reset transform and then let's say we just enlarge it getting a little closer to what the 1080 is so now there we go you want to know you want to know a neat little trick i'll do it with this one let's say we take this facetime camera and i want this view the one that 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 i'm at right now the one that you're looking at right here and uh, i'm going to duplicate so i'm going to right click oh come on right click there we go duplicate and i'm going to call this facetime see you for close up so i've got that one and that one and i'm going to take this one and i'm going to scale it a little bit more let's say i want to do it like that now i have two of them so let's say i go from the garage shot to that, and then as I'm talking, I want to go ahead and get a close-up because I really want to make a big point. Anyway, you get the idea. So let's talk about audio basics here. I'm not I'm not setting you up for like full church production and stuff like that. Um, this is just getting started. Okay, so remember that. Um, I've got a little meteor mic here. It's a USB microphone. So I'm going to plug in my USB cable to it. It's a great little microphone, by the way. And I'm going to plug it into the USB slot. There. And the little blue light has come on. There we go. The little blue light has come on. So I know that it is connected and ready. So let me go to my source button here. By the way, here's a quick little tip. One of the things that I do is I go into my system preferences, go under sound, and tell it that your input is Samson Meteor Mic. Now check, check. You see the level right there? I'm tapping on it. There we go. All right. Now, if you take a look right down here under the uh, the mic, the auxiliary input, you can see. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna thump it here. So watch. There you go. See, got the microphone plugged in, and it is set that it's going to be the uh, the audio input for whatever scene you have okay so as you can see setting up OBS in basic form is really easy very simple to do now start playing with it get used to it add some more sources get your feet wet get comfortable with it plug in your Facebook live settings plug in you know if you're using YouTube or whatever you can plug that information in and do some test streams okay if you want some more in-depth training, I've got that as well for Church Training Academy CTA Insiders, okay? If you go to your member dashboard, if you are already a member, look under live streaming and then take a look at the OBS training. If you want some more in-depth and want to get access to the CTA Insiders group, which is the private Facebook group where myself and all the other CTA members are sharing all their knowledge, tips, and tricks, then you can join. Just click on the Join Now button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go start streaming. Have fun.